Good morning, day 32 of the adventure. And uh, we uh, got on the trail by 7 a.m. So an early start, uh, supposedly there's gonna be severe uh, thunder and lightning showers starting around 10, so we'll see. I don't believe the weathermen or women uh, hike the Appalachian Trail. I think they look outside and they go, ooh, looks severe out there. Uh, I want to get a weather person that uh, that uh, has hiked the trail so they, they know and experience weather instead of look at weather. Just my thoughts. Uh, so today we're going to try to make it to Watuga Lake. If the lightning storm is as bad as they say, we might pull up short, so we'll see. Um, but we're trying to get miles in early this morning. The sun did show itself. Hi, sun. And uh, hopefully you'll stay with us for a while. So that's the uh, weather that's gonna be coming our way. And uh, it was raining over on the other side of that ridge right there. So I'm expecting us to get that pretty soon. So I just thought I would talk about the first 30 days and expectations. And so someone asked if I was on uh, pace um, for my plan. And I, I would have to say I'm a, probably about two days uh, behind where I wanted to be. And, uh, and a lot of that has to do with my sleeping pad. I've been trying to sleep on mattresses or at hostels so that uh, I don't have to deal with the pad. Last night I slept in a tent and um, I had to blow up my pad probably six times, which for me, I don't sleep great in a tent. And what I do is I get rest. So I'm okay with that. That was all right. But uh, the other th expectations I had was um, with my intense research, and again, not an obsession, just intense research, uh, I knew Georgia was gonna throw mountains at us. And so I was prepped and prepared mentally and I think physically for, the, for that state and North Carolina. And so I was uh, very pleased with how I recovered and was able to manage those mountains. Now, the other thing, um, I, I think my gear was really good. I'm finding that my sleeping bag is too warm. And so I'm gonna be switching out here quickly uh, to my cold weather or my um, warm weather uh, sleeping bag at, that I made. It's more of a 40 degree bag versus a, a 20 degree bag. Uh, I'm going to be sending home my um, long underwear, uh, the insulated underwear that uh, I have. I have not used that once. I have a baklava that I have not used once. Um, I might even send home my puffy. And when I say home, that's to New Hampshire so that I have it ready for the, uh, the whites. And then um, other things that I've, uh, expectations is, uh, I thought I was gonna find it hard to find campsites at the beginning. And anytime, excuse me, anytime there was a, um, like a storm, uh, the campsites at a shelter were all taken, but shelter space was available. When I, and so, I wasn't planning on doing shelters, so my expectation was not to sleep in shelters, and I have actually slept in them more than I expected. So that's that's kind of interesting. Um, I've been blown away about how steep the mountains are. Not necessarily the trail, but the mountain sides, how steep North Carolina mountains are. They are pretty amazing. And... Um, and I'm also pleased that the foliage has held off uh, so that when I'm on those ridges, I can uh, see the views like I've been seeing. So that's been uh, pretty cool. And then the community, uh, I've been blown away by the, the trail magic. That's been awesome. Tom and Susie were the greatest. And I've actually heard from other hikers that they, they said, hey, did you run into Cardio Man and his wife Susie? And uh, I'm like, yeah. Uh, and they're like, wow, that was the greatest. So you guys knocked it out of the park. 
You were like Carl Yaskrimski with the bases loaded and you hit a grand slam. Um, so that was kind of cool. And then uh, other expectations. Um, I would hoping to see more wildlife, but uh, I do think when I'm hiking with my trekking poles that I'll hit rocks and the wildlife hear me and get out of the way. So I might uh, start hiking um, th this mid-Atlantic section without trekking poles in the morning just to see if I can see more animals. And then um, my expectations in the mid-Atlantic states are to increase my mileage. So uh, I'm expecting to do that. I think I will uh, get up close to 22 miles a day on average. And I do have on Dean's list, I have a list of things I wanna do. And one of them is to do a marathon. So 26.2 miles uh, to, um, or is it 26.1, whatever, uh, to do in one day of hiking. So we'll see if we can get that. All right, just wanted to check in and tell you some of the, my expectations and, and the results. Oh, here's a little side trail. Let's see what we see here. Come down this little steep, gotta be careful. Cool little rock. Reminds me of Canary's Ledge. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Mountains are looking green, baby. They're looking green. Awesome. is kind of cool, but it's also even more special with the fact the rhododendrons are blooming. So super cool coming through here. Look at them on the ground from the rain. Check out this rock wall cliff. That thing's up there. Pretty cool. I'm gonna turn this way. Kind of cool. And then I'm gonna. Go down and turn this way. Super cool. Alright. Now that's a beautiful river. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful water. This trail. There's Laura Creek or River and this is Trail.
Yes, guy. I was hoping that white pickup truck that pulled out of here was going this direction. I'm always, yeah, always looking for like whenever a car's pulling out right where you come off. Those are always the best bets. Shelter to uh, Route 321, which is at Watauga Lake, and uh, and boots off Hostel. Uh, actually tried thumbing in and got picked up by a shuttle driver who was bringing people from boots off Hostel into Hampton. We are now staying at a hostel here in Hampton, and I'll put their name right. Um, and so, uh, uh, very nice place. Uh, Hampton is a small town. I just got confirmation that my order has been placed and the sleeping pad is going to be shipped from Surprise, Arizona, I believe. So, uh, I'll be tracking that. I might be staying here because tomorrow may be a lot of rain. And I might do a slack pack option to where I can cover some ground and still uh, not have to carry all my equipment. Uh, I am currently drying off my tent and we are about to go out to dinner. So Captain BG and I are sharing a bunk room. Uh, it's really reasonable. It's a $15 room, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we're going to be going out to dinner. So I'll, uh, I'll check in with you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Love all the comments. Uh, you guys have been great. And I look forward to tomorrow and possibly more rain. No rain, no pain, no elevation loss or gain or no main. That's what they say. I added the uh, elevation loss or gain. I got it. All right, see ya.